Welcome to Log10 Pro for iOS. This video will give you a quick tour of some of the key features Log10 Pro has to help you take control of your flight time. We'll cover Log10 Pro's one-tap configuration, which configures your logbook automatically based on the type of flying you do, how to log your flight time, logging nighttime and approaches, differentiating commercial operations, digitally assigning your logbook, using Log10 Pro's Analyze and Plan tabs to fully analyze your data, backing up your logbook, and last but not least, generating and printing reports. When you first open Log10 Pro, you'll want to set your typical role. This will automatically configure your logbook to include the most common information for that role. However, you can always choose from dozens of additional options as well as create your own fields to fully customize Log10 Pro to your personal needs. Of course, if you change roles, you can always set your typical role manually by going to More, then Settings, then My Logbook, and tapping Typical Role. Now you're ready to log your first flight. Log10 Pro's Fly Now tab allows you to quickly track new flights with just a few taps. When you tap Fly Now, Log10 Pro will automatically input the current time in the outfield and populate the from field with the airport nearest to your current location. Once you reach your destination, Tap the blue compass icon in the To field and again, Log10 Pro finds and inputs your arrival airport. You can use the blue clock icon in the Out, Off, On and In fields to fill your current time. Or you can manually enter the appropriate time by tapping in the field. The Fly Now tab will also update your autofill times, aircraft and crew details with any defaults you may have set. You can tap the Details button to view the entry in your logbook, where you can fill in or edit any details such as aircraft, crew, duty, takeoffs, landings, and approaches, among others. You can always add new flights at any time in the Logbook tab. To add a new flight, tap the plus button in the top right. You'll notice that the date automatically defaults to today and will correspond to whatever time zone preferences you've selected in Settings. If you've selected Commercial Pilot, Airline Captain, or Airline First Officer roles on Startup, the Entry Type field is automatically turned on. This allows you not only to log flights, but other types of work duties like positioning, non-flying, simulator duty, reserve, and so on. Next, you'll see Aircraft ID. When you tap in this field, you can select Recently Used Aircraft found at the top in green. You can also save aircraft as favorites. You'll see them listed here in blue or you can swipe down and search for an aircraft. If it's a new aircraft, simply type in the new aircraft ID and tap Create Entry. If you selected an aircraft you've flown before, the aircraft type will automatically fill in. If it's a new type, tap in the aircraft type field to select from our database of aircraft types. Pull down to open the search field and type the first few characters to find the aircraft. Next, you'll select a departure and destination airport either from a list of previous destinations that will display when you tap in the field, or you can search the onboard database of over 30,000 airports by ICAO or IATA identifiers. If you have the Show Clock Time Auto Fill button set to On by tapping More, Settings, and then Time Calculations, this enables the Now button, which can be used to quickly fill the current time in any field where the Now button is visible, for example, Out and In. You can also tap in the field to enter the times manually. Total time is automatically calculated as is nighttime, which uses a powerful algorithm based on the departure and arrival GPS locations, the Great Circle Route, and Civil Twilight to ensure your nighttime is calculated as accurately as possible. Also worth noting here is the ability to configure your logbook manually. Don't see the fields you need? You can easily customize Log10 Pro to make it the perfect logbook for you by tapping the Action button at the top right of the screen and then Configure Fields. Scroll to the section you would like to customize and tap Configure Section. You can then add or remove any fields by toggling them on or off. Moving down, you'll see that you may add crew members by tapping on the appropriate position and selecting from your people records. If it's not someone you've flown with before, simply enter the name and a new entry will be created in the people database for you. With Log10 Pro, you can turn on as many as 10 different approach types per flight. Each approach field allows you to log the total number of approaches, the type of approach, the runway, and the place that the approach occurred. You can also have an instructor digitally sign your logbook. Tap the action button on the flight and then sign flight. You can choose from a list of instructors you've set up or add a new instructor. Just tap the plus symbol and once the signature is added, the entry is locked for security. Congratulations on logging your first flight. Tap Logbook to view the flight within a list of all of your flights. Note that the signed flight we just logged is grayed out. This indicates that the flight is locked. 
If you would like to change any information on that flight, you will need to unlock it. Be aware that doing so erases the signature and your flight instructor will be required to revalidate the flight. Flights that are colored orange indicate upcoming scheduled flights, and flights in black are past flights which have not been locked. You can also tap the calendar icon to see your past and future flights in the calendar view. Next, let's look at the radar tab. Tap radar in the bottom left. You'll see the analyze and plan tabs at the top of the screen. Analyze gives you a quick snapshot of all of your log time, and by tapping on any of the groups, you can get key information about your flight time. For example, total instrument, night, actual instrument, PIC, SIC, duty, and landings. Note that the times displayed in the Analyze view are based on what time fields you have configured in the logbook. Times based on your aircraft will also be shown here, so things like your multi-engine land time will appear automatically if you have logged flights in an aircraft where the aircraft type has been configured to have a class of multi-engine land. Want to see your flying on a map? Tap the My Worldview Map icon to see all your flights for that particular group on the world map. Tap the Done button, then Back, and at the bottom, you have smart groups that we've set up to track specific custom data. Smart groups can track multiple criteria based on virtually any aspect of your flying. You can even create your own smart groups by tapping the plus button here. Want to know how much night PIC time you have in an A320? No problem. For more information on setting up smart groups, please see the Harnessing the Power of Smart Groups tutorial. A link is provided in the YouTube description below this video. The plan view of the radar tab displays graphs for your currency, rest, duty limits, and expiring certificates. At the top, we have Log10 Pro's industry-first dynamic time loop feature, which enables pilots to see in real time their currency and limits information, including duty and rest limits. You can easily scroll back and forward in time to see your past and future by sliding left and right on the time loop bar. When you input your schedule, Log10 Pro automatically monitors all your limits, currencies, and certificates and will warn you of any upcoming issues. One of the most important things you'll want to ensure is that your logbook is backed up. For this, you can use Log10 Pro's in-app manual backup. Just tap More, Settings, Backup, and then the plus button at the top right of the screen. This will save a full backup of your logbook to your iCloud Drive account. If you would like to use Dropbox Backup, simply toggle the Dropbox and tap the plus button. You can swipe to the right and tap Share to export a copy of your logbook for safekeeping elsewhere. Finally, let's take a look at the Reports tab. Log10 Pro comes with over 100 built-in high-quality reports. Log10 Pro sorts your reports by overview, which includes experience, summaries, duty and limits, and graphs. The logbook section allows you to present your data using the official formats for most major countries, as well as general, non-country specific logbooks. The More section, including certificates, exporters, various options for exporting your data, and if you create any of your own custom reports or download reports from our website, they will appear in a new My Reports section here. Once you've generated the report you want, you can save it as a PDF, print it, or share it via airdrop, text, or email. Now that you've had a glimpse of just how much you can do with Log10 Pro, it's time to start logging. If you have any questions about these, or indeed any other features in Log10 Pro, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro by tapping More, then Help, then Contact Support. For more Log10 Pro tips and tutorials, subscribe to the Cordine Aviation channel, or click another video to keep watching now.